Hi guys, it's Janelle. Uh, this video is all about real estate. And today I'm gonna give you the top 10 things to do your very first year in the real estate business. Step number one is to pick a great broker. So a broker is someone that you hang your real estate license with. You have to be partnered with a broker to sell real estate. So I recommend hiring someone with a great reputation in the real estate um, community. That could be Keller Williams, Edina Realty, Coldwell Banker, any of those big names. Um, EXP even is a big name now. So any of those really big names, um, I recommend definitely get an interview with them and possibly even seeking out a mentor at that point. A mentor is someone that can help you when you have real estate questions and they can kind of guide you your first year in real estate, which is really important. Real estate can be very complicated um, for a first time agent. There's a lot of ins and outs and it's extremely difficult to get through contracts if you don't know what you're doing. So a great mentor or broker behind you is a great benefit for you first year in real estate. I also recommend potentially looking into joining a team. A team leader is someone that leads a team. They may not even sell real estate anymore. They basically manage you and make sure you're getting leads and business. And they kind of coach you along and help you um, with any questions that you have in any of your transactions. They can be incredibly useful for new agents. So look into teams if possible or go out on your own and join a great broker that you feel super comfortable with. That's step number one is to do all of those things. Just get great people behind you. Number two on my list is to always be prospecting. This is super old school information. I don't care. It's like the most important thing in real estate because if you're not prospecting, you're not generating leads, which leads to not generating sales, which is not good, obviously. So you wanna be always prospecting. Prospecting means you're out and about. You are social AF. You are out at, you know, parties, events. You're in this club, you're in that club. I don't care, you're in a book club, wine club, whatever. You're out there, you're letting people know you're in real estate, you've got a ton of friends, and you're prospecting. Prospecting can also mean doing open houses, meeting wa people walking through the door that could be potential clients for you. That's prospecting. You know, you're at a coffee shop and someone comes up and talks to you. Talk to them. That's prospecting. Um, be engaging with people. Be very welcoming. Um, some of the best salespeople in the world have those traits naturally. So very, very important to have. Always be prospecting. Number three on my list, and this one's really fun because I really screwed this up my first year in real estate and that's why it's great to have this tip on my channel. Skip the agent events. And you're gonna be like, what, but they're so fun. No, you do not need to be hanging out with other agents. Many brokers will have huge events for new agents because they wanna create like a family, like a sort of like office culture. Um, that's great, but hanging out with other agents will not earn you any money and it will not get you any deals. You will get some friends out of it. Um, but going to, you know, an agent happy hour, an agent potluck, an agent picnic, you know, agent ski trip. These things do not lead to business. Um, that will lead, the, there's, it's just a dead end. You know, you've got some friends, great, that's, that's cool. But I think you should hang out with people that aren't agents. So no happy hours, no agent events, skip that and hang out with people that could potentially give you business because more than likely your first business is going to come from someone that you know and trust in your life already. It could be a family member, a trusted friend, someone from your past. Those are the people that are going to actually reach out to you and say, yes, I want to buy a house or hey, I want you to sell my house. So skip the agent events, guys. It's not worth it. Number four is super important in 2020, and this is to step up your social media game. Learn how to use TikTok for real estate. You need to be really good at Instagram, obviously. Throw out a, a Facebook post. Um, I always do a thing where every single week, I've got it organized on a calendar, and it'll say like, Tuesday, Facebook post. Wednesday, new listing post. I have everything organized, so on all of my different social media channels, I am constantly putting out content that is real estate. You know, everything's real estate, so, it may seem annoying and you may think, you know, you can get in your head and it can be like, oh, well, I'm gonna be so annoying if I just constantly post, you know, pictures of my listings or homes that I've got open houses at. 
Who cares? Are those, it, who cares what people think? Honestly, you need to put as much content out there about your business as you can because that stuff works. It may not be immediate, but being crafty and good on social media is a long-term business plan that can make you very successful in real estate. Number five on my list is to write a business plan. Um, I feel like every great business always starts with a business plan. I want you to do your first year, your third year, your five year, and your 10 year plan. Write out those goals from top to bottom. No goal is too big or unattainable. Um, I think that every person should have a business plan and goals in place for something to look back on and something to be proud of later in your career. So get that business plan going. Number six is pretty obvious, but I wanna put it out there again. You really wanna let every single person in your life know that you are now in real estate. I want you, your very first day in real estate, you get licensed, you're with your broker, start organizing it out. Every person that went to your wedding, every person you went to college with, text them. Let them know, hey, I'm in real estate. I just joined this great company, what do you think? Let everyone in your life know that you are now in real estate. Um, you don't wanna be that agent that's, you know, looking on Facebook or Instagram and one of your best friends, you know, from, from college, that you, maybe you held her hair when she puked in the toilet, I don't care. She went and bought a house with someone else because she didn't know you were an agent. You have to be smart about this. Let these people know, I'm in real estate now. You guys trust me. I wanna work with you on buying your next home. You don't wanna be a secret agent. No one wants to get that annoying Facebook notice where someone's bought a house and you reach out to them, they're like, sorry, I didn't know you were a realtor. Because um, those are really, those will happen and it's really, really sad. So number seven is super fun and not a lot of people do this, but I did this and I found it to be very successful. So I want you to study some of the best people in your marketplace. So I don't care if you're in La Jolla, I don't care if you're in Nashville, whoever the top agent is in your area, I want you to study what they're doing and emulate them a little bit if you want to. Um, definitely see what they're doing and kind of make it your own. Because whatever the top agents are doing, there's certain things with different marketplaces that work um, that could be very useful for you. So study the top agents in your market. Number eight is just a little bit of financing help here. I want you to set aside some money before you get into the real estate business. Um, you don't wanna quit your job and just jump into real estate because real estate can be a little bit expensive to get started and you may not see your first paycheck for a very long time. So you need to have savings set aside so you don't feel like, you know, you don't have any money to pay for marketing, advertising, all of those things that you need for real estate. So definitely set a certain amount of money. I would say enough for an entire year to live on if you can. I know that when I first started, um, I went my first six months without earning anything and then my sixth month in the business, I started getting like two or three commission checks like constantly, but it, it takes you time to build up to that. Again, it's all about doing everything that I said, letting people know that you're in the business, do your social media. Those things, if you do those tips and build up, you will absolutely see the rewards, but it might not be immediate. So save up money your first year to put aside for you know, just living your life. And also, um, if you take listings, you're gonna need money for pictures, advertising, and making those listings look great with your marketing. Number nine is to look into, or at least join, a free or paid coaching program. There is so much great content out there. I'm gonna continue to put more content out for free on my channel, um, but there's so much content out there where you guys can really learn a lot from these real estate coaches that are online, that give you tips of the trade, that are very effective. Um, sometimes real estate brokers don't give you really up and coming tips to do. So sometimes watching YouTube or Instagram is a great way to learn from these coaches on what they do. And also coaches have amazing scripts. I think scripts are a great way to learn objectives that you're handling when you're dealing with tough clients or people that have guards up that don't want you, you know, involved or whatever. So say you're handling, you know, a listing presentation and someone says, well, your commission's too high or 
well, why would I use you? You want to have these scripts in your head because there's an answer for every little thing that you learn if you're in a coaching program that makes you, you handle every objection so they have nothing but to agree with you and to agree to work with you. So coaching scripts are great. Look into coaching if you can afford it or just do free coaching online. Number 10, I want you to remember this one because real estate is not easy. If real estate were easy, everyone would be doing it. So number 10 is to never give up. Um, you know, I've had some really bad days in real estate and I'm sure many other agents feel the same way. Just because a deal goes away or a, de a deal crashes and burns, it doesn't mean you should give up and put your head in the sand and just completely be depressed. Um, real estate can be challenging. So I always say pick yourself off the ground and just get back up and keep going. Don't give up on real estate because it can be a very challenging but rewarding career. So do not give up at any cost. I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> okay guys, let's go over this real quick again. Tip number one, pick a great mentor or broker. Tip number two, always be prospecting. Tip number three, skip the agent events. Tip number four, step up your social media game and become a pro at this. Tip number five, put together a great business plan. Tip number six, let everyone in your life know that you're in the real estate business. Tip number seven, study some of the best realtors in the country to see what they're doing and why they're so successful. Tip number eight, Set aside some money for your first year in real estate. Tip number nine, look into coaching. Tip number 10, never give up. You guys, if you liked this video and you want more tips and advice, please hit the like and subscribe button. I've got a ton more content coming out. I've been in the real estate business for 13 years. I can't wait to share what I know with you. Bye guys.